What's up, YouTube? This video is brought to you by Weebo. If you'd like to help out the channel and get some free stock, make sure you check out my link below. Hey, I'm Chris saying in today's video is about stocks to load up on because we about to hit them out the park, guys. But hey, listen, if I helped y'all in any way, whether I was helping you make some money or give you a new perspective on the stock market, please make sure you like and subscribe and join us on the journey. Without further ado, let's take a look at my portfolio. Maybe it's just me, man, but do anybody get hyped? Do anybody get hype and all the way turned up, man, when Sunday night is approaching in anticipation for Monday morning? If you get hype or you turn up on Sunday nights or for these videos, please let me know down in the comments below. Please make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already and join the family, guys. We about to hit them out the park this week. I'm feeling real, real good about not only this week, but how we gonna dominate the game throughout the end of the year, man. Please make sure, guys, if you haven't already, that you join us for the weekly option plays. Some have been sent out already. Others will be sent out among me hearing from you guys or getting your screenshot, okay? Feel free to text me or email me. Just make sure you get them so we can knock them off the park this week, okay? But listen, guys, I got a jam-packed video for you as well as two stocks that will do their thing and I need you to guys to consider loading up on, okay? I won't hold you long today because it's almost game time and I'm ready for us to do what we do, okay? So let's get to it. The first banger I got for you guys is ticker symbol AMD, currently sitting at $136.50. Listen guys, I want you to make sure that you at least put eyes on this for tomorrow and this week, okay? Listen, this play, Again, this is one of my babies, man. I had this a long, long time, but this play is a beast as well, okay? Look, check out the week. It was up 14% over the last week. It was up 28% over the last month, but guess what? It got a little more room to run. I want you guys to take part in any future run up that it has, okay? And so listen, if you knew around here and you don't know, any stock that I give you, around here we buy 125 shares, of everything so if you ever see us talking about a stock and we say we got this play or we're going to get this play guys if you're new family help out the newbies in the comments below we buy 125 shares of everything okay but listen to this every stock that i tell you guys about every stock that i sit back and do the due diligence on and research for you is just as good of an option play so if you don't want to buy the stock cool do options on it okay that's our little secret for you guys to make some money quicker anybody remember macy's somebody go look at macy's a play we hit a home run with in january i told you the whole world about it back last year and everybody was like why macy's but go look at how many times we could have did options or that we did do options not we could have we did do options when it was ten dollars to twelve dollars and ten dollars to fourteen dollars we killed that play in that range but somebody go look at where macy's at today and that's another play we hit a home run in not to digress but every stock that i tell you about is just as good as an option play if not better and you don't even gotta hold it as long nor do you have to own it okay the next stock i got for you guys is pfizer ticker symbol pfe currently sitting at 48 dollars and 61 cent Look, man, they already done gave me the volatility signal. So that means everybody and their mom is jumping into this right now as we speak. This is called after hours trading, okay? They're already getting into it. That means it has some positive catalysts potentially. So the volatility will be there. I want you guys to put this on your radar. And if you see this one go to the moon this week, I want to make sure that you guys take part in it, okay? Listen, guys, crush the game dominate the game use everything i've ever taught you about buying a dip being patient knowing when to hold them knowing when to fold them the whole nine guys because all of those things come into play down the stretch so that you guys can make wise decisions on your investment journey okay listen man i want to see nothing but bottles when i come back on here tomorrow and i say let me know who made money down in the comments below i want to hear you guys doing your thing okay listen this is, I'm about service, okay? I wanna see you win. I can care less about what I'm doing, okay? I wanna help you guys level up and help you guys dominate the game. 
run the play we call in the huddle follow the blueprint okay and if you know that you know somebody that needs to know how to invest the right way to invest the foundations of investing make sure you bring them to this channel and have a like and subscribe because we're getting it in over here we will get it in over here but more importantly we're going to dominate the game and we're going to start that 9 30 tomorrow morning okay and i want each and every one of you guys along for the ride okay listen today's word of the day is going to be unrealized gains okay listen guys i want to talk to you very quickly about both unrealized gains and unrealized losses okay listen you need to make sure on plays that you might be up in that at some point that you consider locking in profits because if you don't it's called an unrealized gain so using these examples that i'm showing you guys here you can be making money but yes, you've made this much money or more, and depending on the play you might be looking at, but if you don't ever lock it in, which means you have to sell either some or all of your position to do so, then it's just an unrealized gain. Now let's take a look at this play. The same is true for a loss, okay? I often tell you guys about paper losses. You'll see my portfolio fluctuate heavy, but I don't lock in losses, okay? I only do it strategically one time a year, preferably for tax purposes, okay? I write off my losses for tax purposes. But other than that, if I'm ever down, guys, it's a unrealized loss. It's a paper loss. It don't count for real. You just gotta wait for the stock market to have a bull run again and your whole portfolio will go back up, okay? Please learn those skills. Please learn those lessons so that you guys aren't blowing up your accounts and messing up your portfolio because you jumped in a play and you panic sold and you messed up and now you have locked in a six thousand dollar loss when it was gonna come right back in two weeks or two months okay or whatever the time period is okay i want you guys to make sure you understand the importance of what an unrealized loss is and what an unrealized gain is so that you're not misled in any kind of way okay i expect us to do great things around here as a family i expect us to be sharks and so I need you guys to make sure that you're on your A game each and every day in the market, okay? Listen, guys, I won't hold you up today, but we make videos like this every day. So if you like this one, make sure you check out the next one. Remember, most people see the end result. Very few consider the journey. Do me a favor. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys grab some free stock using my link below. And I'll see you all in the next one.